presents The Mysterious Traveler. This is The Mysterious Traveler, inviting you to join me on another journey into the realm of the strange and the terrifying. I hope you will enjoy the trip, that it will thrill you a little and chill you a little. So settle back, get a good grip on your nerves, and be comfortable. If you can. It's the end of July, and rather warm, isn't it? There's probably an insect or two buzzing around in your living room right this moment, or banging against your screen trying to get in. Before we go any further, you better get rid of it. If you do, you'll breathe easier as you hear the unusual story I have for you today. The story I call... The Man the Insects Hated. My story begins in a homemade laboratory in a crumbling mansion on the edge of a bayou, deep in the heart of the Louisiana swamps. Outside, the air is filled with the strident hum and buzz of insects, uncounted swarms of them crawling and hopping and flying in the hot, lush atmosphere. Inside the laboratory, the air is filled with the same sound as a small man with graying hair lifts a wire insect trap to a table. Listen to them, Mary. How they hate me, every one of them. The flies, the bees, the hornets, the beetles, the locusts, the spiders, they all hate me. Oh, John, they don't hate you. They're just bugs. They can't hate you. Yes, but listen to them hum and buzz when I come near. <laughs> they know me. And the reason they're so upset is that they know that we're enemies and that I'm going to destroy them. Destroy them utterly. All right, John. <sighs> oh, Mary, you look tired. This life we've been leading the last few months, it's very dreary for you, isn't it? It's all right, John. It doesn't matter. Oh, but it does. These swamps, they must seem like the last outpost of creation to you. You always did love the city and the lights, the movement, the gaiety. I'm all right. You mustn't worry about me. It's only... It's such a struggle. If we had someone to help us, it would be easier. But no one will come out here and work for us. Yes, I know, my darling. Believe me, I do. But it's only for a little while. Soon we'll be rich. I promise it. All right, Jack. I'll be patient. You do believe me, Mary. You know that I'm on the verge of success now, don't you? That last formula, you saw how quickly it killed every insect in the cage? Yes, I know. It was wonderful, John. Yes, and you know yourself what it'll mean to the world. The perfect insect killer, something much better than DDT. Why, it will be tremendous. It will make the worst jungle livable. It'll cut down disease and increase the crops. And... There's someone at the door. Yes. It's very odd. I wonder who it could be. I'll see. Perhaps it's Dr. Guernsey or, or Mr. Conway, the druggist. They promised to call. Good morning. Is Professor Hansen in? But... Why, yes, he is. Come in quickly. There's so many flies. Yeah. Seems like the air is full of bugs outside. Never saw so many in my life. What is it, Mary? It's uh, someone to see you, John. I don't know who. Andrews, the name, Professor. Martin Andrews. Say, you really are out in the wilds here, aren't you? Thought I'd never find you. Yes, we are rather isolated, but... Uh... You're wondering who I am and what I want here. The truth is, I was in Conway's drugstore back in town, and he told me you might be able to use a handyman. Oh, a handyman. Yes, we can use a handyman. How much do you want? Oh, not very much. I guess 25 bucks a week would do me. We can manage that, I think. But on second thought, I don't know. I'm not crazy about these swamps with all these bugs around and... Oh, please, try it anyway, Mr. Andrews. My husband is engaged on some very important research, and he needs help badly. Oh. Well, when you put it like that, Mrs. Hanson... Then you will stay. Yeah, I'll stay. <laughs> what have I got to lose? Maybe I'll like it better than I thought at first. Excellent, Mr. Andrews, excellent. Oh, just call me Martin, Professor. Uh, uh, yes, Martin, yes. Now, there are a lot of details that you can help me with. Uh, now, take this watch and... Uh... Lunch will be ready in a minute. 
Oh, yes, my dear, yes. Uh, take this watch, Martin, uh -huh. and uh, you see this wire trap full of insects? Yeah. There must be thousands of bugs in there. There are. You see, I'm working to discover the perfect insect exterminator. Oh, yeah, I see. Yes, and in this spray gun, I have my latest solution, Formula 312. And I'm going to spray it just once at this trap full of insects, and you are to time how long it takes them all to die. You're going to kill all those bugs with just one squirt from that sprayer? <laughs> I hope so. And they know it, too. Listen to them hum. Uh, how they hate me. They know I'm going to kill them, and they, they wish they could get free to kill me. Huh? Oh, yes. Yes, they know me. Insects hate me. All insects, just as I hate them. They'd kill me if they could, but instead I'm going to kill them. <laughs> Have you got your eye on the watch? What? Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, sure. Then start timing. Now, watch and listen. Say, that stuff really mows them down, Professor. Yes, they're dying now. A few of them are still trying to crawl around, but uh, there they go. Now, how long did it take? Uh, 29 seconds. It's good, but not quite good enough. But I'm sure I'm on the right track. Lunch is ready, John. Oh, yes, my dear, yes, we're coming. Well, uh, Martin, do you think you're going to like working here, helping me develop my new insect killer? Yes, sir, Professor. I've got an idea it's going to be a lot more interesting here than I ever imagined. Some more coffee, John? Thank you, my dear. No, I want to go back to the lab to try a new formula and... Um, while I'm mixing it, why don't you show Martin around the place? Why, That's I... a swell idea, Professor. I'd like to get wise to just what you're doing here. But I'm sure that John could show you around and explain everything better than I could. No, 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 not at all, Mary. And besides, you know how I feel about going outdoors. Well, all right, John. If you want me to. Fine. I'll get started on the new mixture right away. And uh, when you're through, I'll have something for you to do, Martin. Okay, Professor. Well, Mrs. Hanson, I'll be obliged to you if you'll give me the lowdown on everything. Well, all right, Martin. There are things that you really should know. So... So, that's how it is, huh? Mm-hmm. The professor is hipped on the subject of bugs and wants to rid the world of them. <laughs> And he thinks they all know it and hate him, huh? <laughs> oh, that's a hot one. <laughs> the bees and the mosquitoes and the flies. They all got it in for him, huh? <laughs> you mustn't laugh. I know it's a strange quirk of his mind, but it's a harmless one. And you must pretend not to notice anything odd about it. Okay, Mrs. Hanson, if you say so. You see, when he was a small boy, my husband was almost stung to death by a swarm of bees. That brought on his peculiar hatred of all insects and his belief that they hate him. Mm, sure, I can see how that'd be. And that's the reason why all his life he's been experimenting to find the perfect insect exterminator. It's screwy, but if he does find this perfect bug killer, it'll pay off big. Oh, he will find it. I'm sure of it. That's why I'm willing... To... I mean, I I'm sure he will. You were going to say that's why you're willing to stay here in this swamp because you think you'll find this bug killer and make a lot of money from it, huh? Well, that's the truth, ain't it, Mrs. Hanson? I... You're being impertinent. The first time I looked at you, I could see you weren't meant for a life like this. You were meant for pretty clothes and soft music, dancing, fun. Not for rotting away in a swamp that's only fit for bugs. You mustn't talk like that. I've got to go back to the house. No, no, not yet. Listen, the minute I stepped inside that house, I knew you were eating your heart out all for fun and people and pretty things. I don't know what you're talking about. Let go of my wrist. Not yet. Listen, I'm no handyman. I know how to make money when I want to. It's just good luck that brought me here. My good luck. There's meant to be something between us. I knew that the second you opened the door this morning... You're crazy. 
Let me go. Sure, I'll let you go. There. Well, why don't you run away from me now that you can? You mustn't say things like that. You mustn't. But I already have, and I will again. You weren't meant to be married to a dotty old dodo like the professor. You were meant to live. And I'm going to hang around here until I prove it to you. <laughs> And so Martin Andrews joined the strange household in the swamps, the household where Professor Hansen plotted death for the insect world. Mary suggested to him that it had been a mistake to hire Martin so hastily without investigating his background. But her husband pooh-poohed her arguments, and she was silent. Knowing she could not explain that she was both frightened and fascinated by a man whom she'd seen for the first time that day. So Martin stayed... And in the days that followed, Professor Hansen found him invaluable. With his help, the work went much more quickly. And daily, as the work progressed, the number of insects swarming about the house increased, buzzing and humming ominously as though news of the professor's success was spreading throughout the whole swamp. Then one morning in the laboratory... Time, Martin. Exactly 15 seconds, Professor. Fifteen seconds and every insect in the trap is dead. We've done it, Martin. Mary! Mary! Yes, John? What is it? Mary, we've done it. At last I found the formula that will kill any insect known almost instantly. Oh, John! Oh, I'm so glad. Yes, formula 3973. Here it is. Just a few marks on this piece of paper. <laughs> but it's man's final victory over the insect world. Ha! <laughs> Listen to the bugs outside home, Professor. Yes. <laughs> they sound almost like they knew what you'd done. Oh, yes, they do know. But they're helpless. They're beaten and they know it. <gasps> yes. Now, I've got to write a note to Dr. Guernsey and Mr. Conway. Uh, Martin, wait here for me. Yes, yeah, sure, Professor. Martin, what are you doing with that formula? Just putting it in my pocket where it'll be safe. You know how the professor is, always losing things. Give it to me, please. I'll take care of it. No, I think I'd better hold on to it. But I have something else for you. No. Let me go. Let go of me. Ever since I... that first day. And I've been waiting. Till you know as well as I do that we were meant for each other. You must say such things. You do know it, don't you? No. No, I... Maybe this will convince you. Oh, Martin. Oh, Martin. Now you know it. Don't you? Yes. yes. Oh, I'm crazy, I suppose, but I can't help it. You've got to go away, Martin. Now, today. You to... are crazy if you think I'm going without you. Oh, here comes the professor. We'll talk about it later. Martin, here's a note from Mr. Conway, the druggist. I've asked him to come out with Dr. Guernsey tomorrow night. Will you drive into town and deliver it to him, please? Sure, Professor. I'd be glad to. Right away. Come in, Martin, quickly. Yeah. Oh, my, your clothes are covered with insects. Here, stand still a minute. I'll get rid of them. There. Yeah, it takes care of that. How in the world did so many get on you? When I got out to open the garage door, they were crawling all over it. They dropped onto me. I couldn't knock them off. John! Oh, John! Yes, Mary? John! John, there, there are ants in the kitchen. A whole swarm of giant black ants. They're monsters. Giant ants in the kitchen? How did they get in? I don't know, but they're there. And more coming all the time. Well, never mind. We'll take care of them. Come on, Martin. Bring the spray gun. Right. They mustn't get into the house. I won't let them. They want to get at me, but they're not going to. There they are, John. All over the floor. These giant ants. The floor's black with them. And look at them come this way toward me. They know who I am. Quick, Martin. Use the spray. Yes, Professor. This will fix them. Ah. Just look at them turn up their toes. Yes. There. That finishes them. But how in the world did they get in? I thought I'd made this house insect-proof. Here are some more, coming through this hole in the woodwork. I'll take care of them. Now I'll plug up the hole. No more will come in that way. They're such big ants. I've never seen any that big before. And they were after me. But we've taught them a lesson. Professor, 
You've almost convinced me you're right. About the bugs hating you, I mean. What are you saying? It's the truth. You never saw so many bugs in your life as there are outside right now. When I got back from town, I could hardly see the house for the beetles and the flies and the hornets that are buzzing around it. And a couple of times, the car ran over columns of ants so thick I thought they were going to clog the wheels. <laughs> columns heading this way. Is that so? I must go over to the window and see for myself. Yes, good heavens, the screen is so covered with insects I can't see out. I'll give them a dose of your bug killer. That'll make them move on. Yeah, that cleared them off. Now, take a look outside, Professor. Did you ever see anything like that in your life? <gasps> oh! Good Lord, the sky is black with insects. Look at that swarm over the trees. Flying beetles, wasps, bees, loco... I can't identify them all. Yeah, and just listen to them. Listen to that song of hate. Don't say that. It, it's just a natural phenomenon. These swamps breed insects by the millions. Yeah, yeah, I know. And every one of those millions is headed right for this spot. But that's ridiculous. No, it's not. All the way to town, I didn't see a single bug. Because they're all gathered right around here, right around this house. You mustn't say that. He's right. They know what's happening here, and they want to stop me. No, John, no. If you want my advice, the thing to do is make up all the Formula 397 we can. If those bugs ever get into this house, we're going to need it. As the day wore on, the clouds of insects surrounding the old mansion in the swamps grew steadily bigger. At times, the house was almost hidden by the black swarms of tiny creatures flying and crawling over it, as if they really were trying to force their way inside. But only a few did get into the house through unnoticed cracks, but as night came on... John. Yes? John, the lights won't go on. They won't? No, look. A fuse must have blown out. I'll go take a look, Professor. I have the flashlight. Thank you, Martin. I'll only be a minute. Listen to them, Mary. Listen to them swarming about the house, beating against the screens, trying to get in at me. Oh, John, they're just insects. They don't hate you. They don't. Hey, well, then where have they come from? Why are they surrounding this house? Answer me that. Oh, I don't know. Martin agrees with me. He said so this afternoon. You mustn't pay any attention to Martin. Listen to them. If they could get in, we'd be dead in 15 minutes. There's death we hear humming and buzzing out there, Mary. Professor! Oh. Uh, Professor! Yes, what is it? Did you find the trouble? Yes, it's in the switch box, all right. All the fuses are blown out. All of them? But how? The switch box is full of little beetles. I don't know where they came from, but they caused a short circuit that blew out all the fuses. They did it on purpose. Oh, John! Well, anyway, we'll be using candles tonight. And there's another thing. What, Martin? The cellar is full of little white ants. I couldn't find out where they're coming from. White ants? Not ants, Martin. Those are termites. Well, termites, then. They're all over everything. Termites? They can eat their way through wood. They can eat holes that the other insects can enter through. Yeah. That's right, isn't it? Martin, come on. Get two insect sprays. We've got to get down there and destroy them before they destroy us. <laughs> must be billions of bugs out there. Crickets, bees, flies, hornets, wasps, ants, every kind of insect there is. It's a good thing you put tight screens on this house. John! What is it, Mary? Well, I thought I felt the house shake then. Ah, oh, don't let your imagination get you. I didn't feel anything. No, no, no. You must keep control of your nerves. I suppose I imagined it then. Oh, John, it's almost midnight. Are they ever going to go away? Maybe not. If the professor's right and they're after him, they'll just hang around until we starve to death. Or until they get in and finish us off. Oh, Martin, stop it. Martin is right. We've used up all the Formula 397, and if they ever do get into the house, we're doomed. I was just thinking that myself. We have got to get help. Go out of the house? Yes. Oh, oh no, John. Not all of us. But maybe if I were to take the car and make a dash for town, they might follow me. John, that's madness. In this sedan, with all the windows shut, they couldn't get at me, and in town I could get help. Yeah, yeah, you could. I could make up more Formula 397 at Conway's drugstore, and he and Dr. Guernsey can come back with me. And if we used a big pumper spray, we could destroy every insect that's outside. No! 
You mustn't try it. It sounds like a good idea to me. I'd go, only I couldn't mix the formula. No, John, you mustn't go out. Yes, I'm going to do it. If those ants ever get at the car, they'd cut the tires to shreds, and then we would be at their mercy. I've got to go for help while I can. Then let's all go. We can all get in the car. It'd be safer to stay here. This house will hold them off for a good while yet. I think the professor's scheme is the best. All right, Martin. Now, I'll get ready. And then you come downstairs and help me with the garage doors. And you're going to have to open and shut them awfully fast when I take the car out. Despite Mary's protests, Professor Hansen carried out his plan. With the car tightly closed, the motor racing, Martin flung open the garage doors. The car shot out into the night, the headlights showing great swarms of flying insects in its path. Then Martin swiftly closed and bolted the door again and hurried upstairs. Well, he's gone. Oh, why did you let him go? That ought to be obvious. What do you mean? I didn't let him go. I made him go. I put the whole idea in his mind so he'd go off and leave us alone here. Oh, no. Sure I did. I'm a bright boy. From now on, it's going to be just you and me and fun. What are you saying? John isn't going to come back from his little trip to town. I don't understand. No, I'll make it simple. In the first place, all those bugs outside don't mean a thing. When I was in town this morning, Conway the druggist told me it happens out here every seven years or so. There's something about the way the wind blows that makes millions of bugs come out of the swamp to swarm around this house in certain years. Oh, but then why did you pretend to believe John when he said it was because they were after him? Just so as he'd go to town for help. Those bugs are harmless. As soon as the wind shifts, they'll be gone. But then... Right this minute, John's driving to town as fast as he can go. And any second now, the steering gear is going to bust. Oh, no. No. Yes, baby, because I fixed it to. And when that steering wheel goes, it'll be curtains for John. The car will hit a tree, and you'll be free to marry me. We'll have Formula 397 and all the dough it'll bring in. That's murder. No, <laughs> it isn't murder. It's being smart. You've murdered John. And I'm guilty, too. Because I didn't make him send you away. Oh, you never really wanted me to go. I ought to lower with you. And myself, too, but... But I... But you don't. No, Martin. I don't. That's more like it, baby. We'll always be together. Always. Forever, Martin. We... Martin! Huh? Something's happening. What? The house! It's, it's shaking! Oh, we've got to get out of here. The house oh. is caving in. It's very what? quick. Grab hold of me. Just... Come on now, before... Look out! Martin! Ah! Conway, can't you drive faster? We must get back to the house. I'm driving as fast as I can, Professor. Professor, you must control yourself. That was a serious accident you were in. It's a miracle you weren't killed. Sure was. The way your car hit that tree, well, I'm just glad it wasn't me. Yes, 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 but please drive faster. No, I should never have allowed you to return to your home with us. You should be in a hospital. But, Doctor, my wife and Martin, I've got to save them. Those insects, they hate me. They're out to destroy all of us. They'll kill my wife and Martin if we don't get there in time. Professor, you must calm yourself. I'm sure it isn't as serious as all that. Oh, Doctor, you're like everyone else. You don't know how dangerous the insect world is, but I know, and that's why they hate me, and that's why they're out to destroy me and my wife and Martin. Well, we're almost there. The house is just around this bend in the road. Yes, but please hurry. You mustn't slow down. Mm -hmm. Professor, I've I got to take this curve slow. After all, we don't want no more... Good Lord. <gasps> the house. It's collapsed. They wrecked it. The insects have wrecked it. I told you they were out to get me. Now, come quickly. We must find my wife and Martin. Uh, come along, Conway. This looks bad. Yes, Doctor. Mary! Mary, where are you? 
Mary, answer me. Conway, you'd better start looking through the wreckage. Okay, Doctor. Mary! Mary, where are you? Oh, Lord, I've never seen so many bugs in all my life. If we'd only had more of my Formula 397, we could kill all of them. All of them! But they won't get the better of me. They won't. Professor, what are you doing? There isn't any spray in that gun. It's empty. I'll show them. I'll show them. Doctor. Doctor. I found them. They're under the wreckage of the house. Oh, oh, you'd better take me to them, Conway. Perhaps we can... It's too late, Doc. They're both dead. Dead? They're dead? Yes, Professor. They were killed by falling timbers when the house collapsed. No. No! It wasn't the falling timbers that killed them. It was the insect world that killed them. They tried to destroy me, and instead they murdered Mary. And now they're trying to break me down. But I won't let them. I won't let them. My formula. Formula 397. The spray will destroy them all. Yes. Yes. They're dying left and right. They're dying. You see? Doc, what, what's wrong them? with them? That, that them spray all. gun's empty. Uh, yes, Conway, I know. I'm afraid he's completely mad. The insect world has destroyed his mind. This is the mysterious traveler again. And how did you enjoy our visit with the man the insects hated? Too bad about poor Professor Hansen, wasn't it? Yes, they found he'd gone completely mad, and in his madness had completely forgotten his newly discovered Formula 397, which would destroy all insects. Oh, what happened to the copy of the formula which Martin had stolen? Well, strangely enough, when Martin's body was removed from the wreckage. The formula was not in his pockets. Some people say that the insects... Oh, you have to get off here. I'm sorry. But I'm sure we'll meet again. I take this same train every week at the same time. You have just heard The Mysterious Traveler, a series of dramas of the strange and terrifying. In today's story, the cast included Maurice Toplin, Eric Dressler, Helen Shields, and Robert Dryden. Original music was played by Gene Perazzo. The Mysterious Traveler is written, produced, and directed by Bob Arthur and David Cogan. Listen next week to a tale titled, I Dream of Dying. Another strange and terrifying tale of the mysterious traveler. The mysterious traveler has come to you from our New York studios. Carl Caruso speaking. This is the Mutual Broadcasting System.